Want your Shopify product page to show the right images when a certain variant is selected and not show a cluttered product gallery that might confuse your customer? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can achieve that without editing any code. Very beginner friendly and it works on any theme. If you're new here, my name is Christian and I'm on a mission to help you grow your Shopify business. So if you didn't subscribe yet, I would really, really appreciate it if you did. Let's say I've landed on this page from an ad. I was convinced by this blue sweater to click on that ad and now I want to see more details about it. So I land here, I see the main blue sweater image and then I'm forced to look at other color variants instead of just seeing images with the blue sweater, the one that actually convinced me. I click around, I look at this other variants and maybe I get distracted instead of just focusing on the product that I actually liked. What should happen is that whenever a customer lands on a product page like this, they should only see images for the variant that they've selected because obviously they are interested in that variant. But how are big brands handling this issue? If you go to Fashion Nova, which is one of the biggest, if not the biggest fashion brand that runs on Shopify, you're going to see this setup. So this is their product page. You have here the images like the thumbnails for the same product. If you go and you change the variant of the product, you're just going to see images with that color. You're not going to have them mixed up as in the other example. If you click on one of the swatches, you're going to change the whole image gallery. This makes it much easier for customers to focus on one single item and to actually see the details for that item and maybe buy it and not get distracted or confused along the way. And if you're going to check out other brands like Pangaea, for example, they do the same thing. If you have a product that has many variants you're gonna have here the swatches if you click on the swatch the entire product gallery is changing you're just gonna see the right images for the right variant nothing else but unfortunately this functionality doesn't come out of the box on shopify and to achieve that you would either have to edit code which is more advanced and you will have to be careful while editing code or you can install an app and in this video I'm going to install an app on my demo store. I have this product page here that has this issue. I have multiple variants and I have a lot of images so my product gallery looks like this. It's a little bit confusing and I don't like that. So I'm going to show you with an app how you can clear this up and show the right product images whenever a variant gets selected. So first of all on the horizon theme, because this is a theme based on horizon, this actually is the thinker theme, but it is based on horizon. This is how things happen. If you have images assigned to your variants here, if you click on them, then the main image will change, but then you're going to have all the other variant images in there. You're just going to change the main image at the top. So let's go to the next one. It's just going to replace the main image, but then the customer will have to go through all the other images. And that is and can be confusing. This is not a very good way of doing things. The ideal outcome of me clicking on this variant here would be that I just see the images for this color if I have multiple images there. To have that happen I will go to the Shopify's app store and I'm going to search for Rubik. So Rubik and you're gonna find the, this app here which you're going to install. Once in here you're going to click install again and you're gonna get the app installed and you're going to see the dashboard. And it is a really, really easy process. You also have here a demo if you want to watch it. You just have to go ahead and select the product you want to work on. And in my case is this one over here. I'm going to select that. And now I see all the details for this product on this page and I can assign multiple variant images onto each variant. For example, for the green, I can go ahead and assign the images that pertain to that color. So I'm going to select these ones. These are for the green. And then I'm going to select the navy images, which are these ones over here. Then I'm going to select the blue and these are the blue images. Then I have brown and I'm not sure if this is brown, but yeah, this is brown. Okay. Then we have pink 
and then we have dark green. Then after saving this, you're gonna scroll back up and you're gonna click on activate. On this page, you're gonna see the themes that you have on your store and you should select the one that you want the app to be installed on. In my case, I'm just gonna install it on the live theme. And after selecting that, I'm going to click on enable. This will send me on the customizer actually where I should enable the app. So this is the app's integration. Make sure it's on and then click on save. Once that's done, you're gonna go back to the other step and click here on I have done it and now you should be fine so I'm gonna go and I'm going to preview my page I'm gonna go back here I'm gonna refresh the page and as you can see now it works out of the box we only have the images for the brown selection so now if I go to green I'm gonna see all the green images if I go to blue or navy I'm gonna see all the navy images and so and you see how much clearer this is whenever a customer lands on the blue sweater they will only see the blue images in here no other images to make them confused or anything now this product page already improved a lot but it would look even better if instead of this swatches that don't look that good we would display image thumbnails and to do that, I'm gonna go back to the Rubik's dashboard and in there, I'm gonna go to Swatch Variant Picker. I'm gonna select that option and then I'm going to turn it on. Then you're gonna to have to enable it on your theme again. So if this is your theme, you're gonna enable it on this theme. If it's a different one, just select the one that you want this enabled on. And I'm gonna click on Enable on Theme Editor and this will send me again in the customizer where all I have to do is click on Save because the, the option will be already turned on for me I'm gonna click on save and I'm gonna go back to the Rubik's dashboard where I can click on check status and now the swatch module is enabled and if I go to my product page and I refresh I can already see that I have images instead of swatches but some of the images are not the right ones and to fix that I'm gonna go back into Rubik's dashboard in here I'm gonna go to configured products I'm gonna click on that option and I'm gonna open the product that I worked on and in here I can go ahead and I can adjust the images and what I want to do is go and drag the main image which for me will be this one over here drag it in the beginning same for this one over here and then this one over here then this one and now because I have all my main images in the beginning they will be displayed in those swatches so I'm going to save that and I'm gonna go back to my store and after a couple of seconds I'm gonna refresh the page and I'm gonna get the right images displayed in here and look how much better this looks like. So if I go to the Navy version, I'm gonna see all the Navy images in here. If I go to the brown option, I'm gonna see all my brown images in here. And this is much, much clearer and much, much better than it was before. So as you saw in a couple of minutes, I was able to add image swatches in here, but image swatches that actually filter images by color. And I was able to do this without touching the code of the theme. If you're interested in Rubik, you're gonna find the app on the App Store or you can find the link in the description of this video. Rubik has a lot of positive feedback. You can check it out, you can give it a try, and I'm pretty sure that they will make your life and your customer's life much easier. Year. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments and I'll do my best to help out. If you like this video, click that like button and I think you'll be interested in seeing that video next. Click it and I'll see you there.